Welcome to this Alan Talks Tech video. If you'd like additional information on my technology videos, please visit my wiki at alantestwiki.pbworks.com. So exactly what is network functions virtualization? Well, a quick warning, it could be a little bit confusing as it came out of the Software Defined Networking Group or SDN Group. However, they would like to emphasize that they see network functions virtualization as highly complementary to software-defined networking. These topics are mutually beneficial, but not dependent on each other. Network functions can be virtualized and deployed without an SDN being required, and vice versa. So, from an operator's point of view today, Operating, installing and maintaining equipment at an enterprise site can be a rather complex affair. There are many different products that they may be responsible for maintaining. Firewalls, routers, servers, load balancers, switches and media servers. Overall, from a telecom operator's point of view, this appears to be rather inflexible, costly, high power requirements, each device has its own separate power supply, and a number of truck rolls may be required. That is, a number of people may be sent out on site to install, configure, and maintain this overall complex environment. So they would like to reduce this complexity. One way of doing this would be to use a standard x86 architecture, for example, a blade server. By using a blade server, we would be using standard hardware, which would give us a less complex environment, giving us flexibility, a reduced power consumption, lower capex, lower opex. We'd be able to test new applications with a lower risk, reduce our time to market, and of course, open up the market to many other software suppliers. But I think moving forwards, most operators, most enterprise users, would prefer to use a virtual environment. Using virtualization, we can still use a standard x86 architecture, a single server, but running on top of that x86 platform will install a hypervisor. On top of the hypervisor, we can install all of the virtual machines, each virtual machine associated with its own independent operating system, and in turn running the media server, the router, the switch, the firewall, the web server, or the load balancer. Again, this gives us that standard hardware architecture, which is less complex, very flexible, with reduced power consumption, lower capex, lower opex. Again, so much more flexibility due to the virtual environment to test new applications with a lower risk, reducing, reducing our time to market, and of course, again, opening up that market to many other software suppliers. So, Who's behind this initiative? Well, it all began with the SDN and OpenFlow World Congress in Darmstadt, Germany, last October. That was October the 22nd to the 24th of 2012. Since then, a new committee has been set up under the Etsy banner in January of 2013. Initially, though, in Darmstadt, there were seven operators that banded together and produced a white paper outlining their ideas for network functions virtualization. Since that time, many other operators, network equipment manufacturers, and software developers have joined the group. Thank you for watching this Alan Talks Tech video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to get more information on my technology videos with additional material, you can visit my wiki at alantesswiki.pbworks.com. Once again, thanks for viewing.